as far as I can tell. Lewis Myers was a phenomenon in uh, he loved the music and he loved the musicians and the artists that made the music and he spent his whole life dreaming up ways to support those people. Uh, he was one of the co-founders of South by Southwest. He was the ED, the executive director of the Folk Alliance for uh, a, over a decade. Uh, he was an artist manager. He ran the uh, uh, television public network here in Austin and um, one way I was connected to him is he talked me into doing hosting a show on that television uh, station t to host songwriters and which was some of the most fun I've ever had. I'm at Threadgill South in Austin uh, to uh, co-sponsor and now host some of the showcases uh, that Lewis Myers put together of songwriters and musicians that he knew and loved and wanted Austin and everyone that came into Austin for this conference to hear. Has anybody here been helped by Lewis Myers when they didn't even know they needed help? Did he introduce you to somebody good that helped network your life, helped put you in the next position? I've dealt with Lewis for a long time, uh, all through the Folk Alliance and all that, and, and, I, and uh, he's just opened so many doors for everybody. And I just saw him at the Folk Alliance in Kansas City in February and hung out with him, not knowing it would be the last time I saw him. And that's the way life goes, isn't it? One of the big, there's a huge hole in so many ways in our lives, but particularly today, it was to know that we were going to co-host together and hang out and have fun and hadn't been able to do that in a while. And, and then, you know, we're still doing it. Everybody, his community, the community, the thing that he loved about the community, all came together, made sure the showcases are still happening. We turned it into a tribute to Lewis Myers. We get to talk about him and tell, tell crazy, wonderful stories about him. Denmark, Sweden, uh, all over Europe, um, the Australia, you know, people from all over the world credit Lewis with the fact that they now have a career and that he stood behind him and said yes you can do this you can do this do it do it and um, and they said look at me now I'm doing it and he was uh, he could be a real curmudgeon he could you know scream and holler at you and get really angry about stuff you know he's no saint but he was a visionary and he was our visionary <laughs>